Hi, my name is Lauren Fields. I lead the domestic litigation team here at Roth Davies LLC. In this video, I'm going to be speaking about custody arrangements. There are two types of custody arrangements, legal custody and physical custody. The legal custody of a child involves the decision-making rights. The main decisions that you would be working with in a joint legal custody situation is the child's health, education, and religious training. Any joint legal custody decision has to be made by both parties. Neither party has the right to have a unilateral decision when it comes to joint legal custody choices. For example, if the parties have a child that is getting ready to enter middle school, and they are questioning which school that child should attend, they have to make that decision together. In the event parties cannot agree on legal custody decisions, that is a situation where the case would need to proceed on a motion hearing. But in the short, the parties would both pitch their positions to the court, and the court would be the one to decide the joint legal custody decision. If one party makes a unilateral legal custody decision, it is a violation of that order that's in place. Aside from legal custody, there is also physical custody. That is where parenting plans and schedules with children come into place. Typically, the parties can work together to figure out a schedule that works well for them specifically. In the event the parties cannot reach an agreement, they go in front of a judge and litigate what they believe the appropriate parenting plan should be for the children. Other provisions that could be in a parenting plan involve holiday parenting time, vacation time, transportation, and more. There are numerous examples of parenting plans, and different plans will work differently for different families. If you have any questions about custody or parenting plan issues, please do not hesitate to call at 913-451-9500.